Hi, I'm Katie McCord. I'm reading a story from Growing in God's Love. This story is called Leaving Moab. It is from the book of Ruth. It's based on that, verses 1, 1 through 19. So, have you ever moved to a place where you didn't know anyone? If not, what do you think it would be like to live among strangers? Ruth moved from her home in Moab to a new country. The land of Judah had no rain, no food. Elimelech took his wife Naomi and his sons Malon and Chilion to Moab where there was rain and food. After a few years, Elimelech died. Naomi lived in Moab alone with her sons. They married Orpah and Ruth, Moabite women. Ten years later, her sons died. Now Naomi was alone with her daughters-in-law. Naomi heard that Judah had rain and food again. She decided to return to her hometown, Bethlehem. She, Orpah, and Ruth started along the long walk to Bethlehem. Wait, said Naomi, you each should go back to your mother's house. You have been faithful and good to me. May God give you husbands and children. Orpah and Ruth hugged Naomi and cried. We will go with you, they said. No, I can't do anything to help you, said Naomi. Orpah finally did what Naomi said. She started walking back to Moab and her mother's house. But Ruth was determined to stay with Naomi. She paid no attention to what Naomi, Naomi's instructions. Instead, she said, I will go with where you go. I will live where you live. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. I will never leave you as long as you live. Naomi could tell that Ruth would not change her mind. Ruth was willing to give up everything she knew. The two women walked all the way to Bethlehem together. So I have a few questions. What did Naomi hear in Ruth's words that made her sure Ruth wouldn't change her mind? Talk to your parents about this and the other questions, either after you were before you go to bed or tomorrow morning sometime. Another question, Ruth had never been away from Moab. What do you think she saw on the way to Bethlehem? How do you think she felt when they got to Bethlehem? And one more question, when people move to your school, church, or neighborhood, how can you help them feel at home? Thank you, this has been Growing in God's Love, a story about Ruth.